Hey, sorry I'm not in class to show you how to do this in person, but we're gonna start our pumpkin portraits today, all right? And we've got some classmates here for you to help ask questions and get some input to make sure you know what you're doing. Does this room sound kind of weird? It's just to me? Okay. All right, so we need a block of clay. Our goal is to make a pumpkin that's six inches by six inches by six inches at least. All right, don't go too small because the smaller you go, the harder it is to get all the details in there. So we've got a solid piece of clay. You can get this off of a block of clay or you can just use pieces that are already in a bag. And then what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna shove our hand down inside there, okay? You can start with your thumbs or your fist, just depends how soft the clay is. But basically our goal is just to get the inside of our clay hollowed out so that it's about an inch thick all the way around. We don't want it any thicker than that. We're just working our way around. Now, you'll notice I'm gonna take my right hand. If you're left-handed, you might wanna use your left. But I'm just gonna rotate this piece and start forming the clay. So that it's coming up and around my fist. This will help make it look more like a pumpkin. Pumpkins come in all different shapes and sizes. You know why jack-o'-lanterns were originally invented? To scare away the demons. To scare away demons, that's right. It's an Irish thing such a small country that they've influenced the whole world so much. Okay, now I've got this about an inch thick. I'm gonna roll it on the bottom edges, try and get that edge rounded over a little bit. And at this point, Gabby is thinking, I wonder if he really knows what he's doing. I can see it, I see the vision. All right, okay, so now, what we're going to do, again, this is all just an inch thick. You can see I've got it nice and hollowed out, okay? We've got the bottom rounded just like a pumpkin. And now we're going to take our finger and you can just run it right up the side here. And see how I've smoothed out, like I've rounded off the edges here? After I've done that, we're going to rotate it again. Same thing, finger right up the middle there, and then just round those edges over. Now you might want to pick an area that is gonna have the portrait on it and not run the fingers up. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Just like that. Okay, so now I've got the basic shape of what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull this clay up. All right, so this area right here is where my face is gonna end up going. Now, the requirements are that we have two eyes, a nose, and a mouth, okay? Now, at this point, you might wanna spend more time on the pumpkin part, getting all those details in, or you can start working on this. Personally, I think the face is the most important piece, so if we don't get that to go right, what's the point of getting the rest of it to go right? Uh, so I'm going to focus more on the face at this point, and then we can come back to the pumpkin later if we want. Okay, so let's think about what we want. We want a nose of some kind, so I'm just going to say like, hey, this is where my nose is going to go. And then I'm going to say, hey, this is where my eyes are going to go. And when you're thinking about the face, whether it's a character or a person that you know, or it's something that you're just making up, okay? I want you to be thinking in terms of like caricature. So a lot of very exaggerated things. So we've got eyes, we've got nose, we've got mouth. Well, what comes out the most? The nose. So let's get the nose protruding out just a little bit. Okay, now remember your eyeballs kind of sink into your head. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's push these in like so and you got more on this side okay and then the mouth uh, we might have like a lip that's coming out 
something along those lines. So notice I'm moving very quickly, all right? The slower you take at doing this stuff, the less likely it is to succeed because the clay is going to dry out on you. Okay, so now I got to get more detail. So I've done the first round. I drew the eyes on there, the nose, the mouth. Then I did a second round where I just kind of indented things and so forth. All right, so now we're going to get more detail. Third one. So our nose has got a really narrow, long bridge. And it's really pointy. And it's got these nostrils that are coming out. Okay. Okay, and now my eyes, I've got, this is, my eyeballs are getting formed here. And I've got these really deep, ugly eye sockets. And we've got these eyebrows. And I have no idea what the expression is on this guy's face because it's upside down. We've got another eyebrow over here. Let's make this one like higher than the other one. And we've got another eyeball coming in right here. All right, and remember we want to be thinking about a lot of emotion, a lot of deep crevices. Okay, now we've got our upper lips. Let's have that like kind of coming out a little bit. You see it okay, Eva? Yep. All right. And then we got this lower lip. That's starting to come out like so. All right, now, at this point, then we're going to start thinking about, you know, like lines and cracks and crevices and a lot more detailed work. Same with our pumpkin. We're going to come back around here to where these lines are. We'll take our wooden knife, get a nice deep line in there, and then use that sharp edge to get it rounded over and cleaned up. Here's your finger. All right, then once we've got all these nice details on here, and we got a lot of details on here, like the eyebrow should have a lot of, you know, hairs on it, and stuff like that. Maybe we got some stitches on them because it got beat up. Maybe we're doing a line around the eyeball. All kinds of stuff. And if you want to have an area cut out so that light can come through, that'd be fine too. All right. Once we've done all that stuff, then we need to start looking at the inside of the pumpkin and try and thin it out some more uh, so that it has less chance of blowing up. And then we need to start looking at putting a top on it of some kind. But that's how we're going to do our pumpkins. Questions? None? How do we make the top on it? How do you make the top on it? I'll be here for that. Be all right. Questions? No? Beautiful. Peace out.